Hello, hello, Dale Majors here, and welcome to another video, Adventure Anyway. It's day seven of the masterclass on how you can be a much better employee, more productive, and have a lot more confidence in your employment that you're the guy and that everybody wants to keep you around. And the main person that decides whether you're going to stay around or not is your immediate boss, right? So we want to make it really easy for them to manage you. You want to make them look like a rock star and you want to make their job easy. So I'm going to talk about a couple tricks and tools that you can use that will help that person feel very comfortable managing you. So I have three tips and I'll just tell them what they are, okay? We're going to talk about a weekly report. We're going to talk about a weekly planning session and then also just your ability to use your calendar well, okay? And the weekly plan and the, and the week, daily report have to do with that. So let's jump into the weekly report. So you already, on day one, we talked about being clear about what your key metrics are in your role and what your ideal, what your ideal uh, position will look like long term, what your position, your job results will look like long term. Uh, I can also recommend a framework. I created a, in this masterclass, the, the 17 day masterclass where I kind of give my whole system. Uh, I talk about the HATS goal setting model and you can use that to plan and make goals around your system and you can share that with your manager. Don't do a weekly report without having a plan because then you're just like giving a heartbeat on what's happening every single week. What you want to do is, is have a big picture goal that you're working on and then track every week to that goal with your manager and say, hey, here's what I did this week and here's what I'm doing next week. So you can create a weekly cadence with your manager to communicate to them what's on your mind, right? So you're, you're telling them, here's what I did, here's what I plan on doing, here were the issues that came up, and you could even share some of those key metrics that you are reporting. So let's get into the weekly report. So every week, I like to go through a personal planning process that I call the dry run, where I identify all the different activities that I need to finish in my week, and then I run through each and every day, kind of like a dry run, to make sure that everything is working well. I use tactics like batching, like like exercises. I, I like to plan certain activities during um, times of the day where I feel more or less energy. You know, for example, I enjoy meeting with people. It's easy for me to have a conversation. It's easier for me. I'm energized by being with other people. I'm very low energy in the afternoon. So I would rather have my meetings with people in the afternoon because the people bring me energy where it's hard for me to do some harder intellectual tasks in the afternoon because I'm tired and I want to go to sleep, right? So we want to learn about where we're more effective and less effective. I talk about um, in the master class the, that I'll link in the description, I talk about doing a time inventory so you can also discover what times those are in your day where you're more high energy or low energy. And uh, so I'm using that. I'm using batching, high energy, low energy, and I'm just running through my week to make sure that I have, uh, that I'm spending my time wisely. So I may even with my coworkers say, guys, if we can, can I please try to have all of our meetings in the afternoon when possible, because I like to stay focused and do my focus time in the morning. You know, that may or may not be possible, but be really deliberate about how you spend your time. When you're deliberate about how you spend your time, people are going to be less likely to abuse your time because you are, uh, you're going about your job with urgency and you give a darn, right? You really care about it. So those two things, you know, using, so using your calendar, doing a weekly report, and then having the weekly planning session. And the weekly planning session, uh, I have a video on YouTube that I'll link to in the description. It's also, it's in, it's in that 18 day, in the 17 day masterclass. So check that out. Those things are gonna make you so much easier to manage because you're constantly communicating back to your manager exactly where you're focused. So instead of them letting you go on such a long leash and uh, then when they finally see what they're doing, what you're doing, they're mad and they're like, oh, you know, I don't even know if I can reel this guy back in, maybe I have to cut him loose. Um, you can stay really close and tight to make sure that you are 
doing what is expected from you out of the role. And especially near the, in the beginning of your job position, then you can stay a lot tighter and closer. You could even send them, hey, if you don't mind, can I send you a daily report about how I'm spending my time, what, what um, issues come up? And then over time, you can back off of those daily reports and go to the weekly report. That communication, um, I know that managers would really appreciate um, if they care about what you're doing. So if you have a good manager. Most of these tools and tricks won't work if you're dealing with, uh, um, with bad managers. So anyways, um, maybe we should have talked about that at the beginning now that we're, the, the, we're at the end. But so there you go. Uh, be the person that's consistent, that people can always count on, and you're going to be a much more valuable employee. So if there's anything that I left out of this guide, you get to the end, the seven days, and you're like, Dale, you didn't talk about this or that. I'm still so confused or curious about these things. Leave them in the comments and I can make a follow-up video. But I'm just excited for you and your new position, and I, I know that you're going to do awesome. So if you put a lot of effort into it, then you're going to do great. So thanks for being here. If you're not subscribed yet, subscribe and check out the other videos. And good luck in your new, in your new position. I will see you on the next video.